Welcome po sa Panlasang Bayan! Today, let's talk about the top 10 exotic food in the Philippines. Let's start! Guts, frogs, bugs, urchins, and snails. Who would ever thought that you could even eat them, right? Well, for thrill-seeking and wonder-driven people, anything can be turned into a food gasmic wonder. Exotic food are found all over the world. But did you know that there are some strange foods here in the Philippines? Okay then, so let me serve you the top 10 exotic dishes in the country. Eating this sort of dishes isn't really for the faint-hearted. But for strange food fanatics, this would surely make it to their must-taste before I die list. Let me serve you our number one list. This might be the mildest among the rest of the items on the list. All of these three are grilled and they are basically sold everywhere in the country, most especially in places near university belts. Isao is chicken intestines, Betamax is grilled blood cubes, and Gizard is basically grilled chicken gizzard. Okay, so let's move on to our number two list. Balut. Evenings would never be complete without hearing some vendor calling out Balut. Some vendors walk, others would be in their bicycles. But did you ever try to buy one? If you haven't and you're wondering what it is, then it's a duck egg. To be more specific, it's a developed duck egg, which of course means that there's a little baby duck inside it. It's a very popular among the locals. It has this bit of broth that has a distinct taste and some egg yolk and hardened albumin. Some would put vinegar in it, others would just put a bit of salt. Let's move on to our number 3 list. Betute Tuga Deep Fried Stuffed Frogs from Pampanga Fancy deep fried frogs with meat stuffing? They always say that frogs taste like chicken and they do. That in itself is comforting. Just close your eyes and imagine you're eating chicken if you're having second thoughts on eating this. Beto Tetugak is quite popular in Pampanga. These frogs are those that roam around farms during the rainy season. They'd remove the skin, season it with salt and pepper, and stuff it with sauteed ground pork. Sounds delicious, right? So let's move on to our number 4 list. Kinilaw na tamilok in Palawan and Aklan. Sheep warm or wood warm dip in salt and vinegar. Kinilaw is a popular way of preparing food, especially shelled mollusk. Kinilaw is quite similar to ceviche, where you would need some acidic solution to cook the ingredients. They basically soak it in either vinegar or calamansi juice with bits of ginger and minced garlic and they leave it for a bit. Tamilok is a bivalve mollusk that is attached in mangroves. They look like worms inside, but they taste like the typical oyster. So imagine your typical oyster served in Kinlao style, and you would get an idea of how this would taste like. Okay, let's move on to our number five list. Abuos or ant eggs in Ilocos. Let's now look at the bag choices in this menu. These creepy crawlers might put you off a bit, but you might be surprised how other cultures also eat red ant eggs, like in Thailand and Mexico. In Thailand, they cook it with lemongrass, garlic, and chilies. In Mexico, they call it as escamol, and they serve it pan-fried in butter and spices. Iloco serves it sauteed with garlic and tomatoes. Let me serve you the number 6 list from Pampanga, Adobong Kamaru, or Mole Cricket. 
rice fields would often have kamaru. This can be a little bit of a pest, so to counter them, farmers harvest these insects and people found ways on how to eat them. Serve mostly in adobo style, which would mean to cook it in sauté garlic, soy sauce, and vinegar. This peculiar dish is more often eaten together with beer. These are crunchy on the outside and gooey on the inside, and they're quite commonly sold in Pampanga. Next, move on on our number 7 list, adobong uok or beetle larvae from Rizal. If you're an avid fan of Andrew Zimmerman's show, Bizarre Food with Andrew Zimmerman, you might have already came across with adobong uok. They live in dead coconut logs. Natives would collect them and eat them raw or cooked adobo style. It has an interesting texture and taste that people from around the globe are fan of. If you have tried adobong kamaru, you should also indulge in adobong salagubang. They have the same texture, crunchy on the outside and mushy and juicy on the inside. They are common around the rainy season in the markets of Nueva Ecija. So if you're out to have a bite of this crispy delicacy, then you might consider dropping by Ecija when the rain starts falling. Let's move on to our number 9 list, Dobong Sawa or Phyton. Sawa can be found anywhere, especially in places with vast farmlands. They are also quite common in exotic restaurants. Sawa meat tastes more like chicken and they are either fried or cooked in adobo style. Their skin is also deep fried and served in Cabanatuan, Nueva Ecija. Compared to the adobong bugs mentioned earlier, this dish would certainly not be so off-putting especially for newbies in the field of eating exotic food. So last but not the least, the number 10 least. Salawaki or fresh sea urchin from Buhol. Who wouldn't know about sea urchins? They're very popular aphrodisiacs and they're common around places near the sea, especially in Bohol, Bolinao, and La Union. These are spiny sea creatures with yellow or orange insides. Their texture is similar to that of oysters and they are best eaten raw and fresh. And there you go guys! Hope you like the video! Maraming salamat po sa pananood at huwag kakalimutang mag-like, mag-comment, at mag-subscribe.